in when native approach. And Hartem into stall number two. That's it. They're off. Racing away for the Bet365 Craven Stakes. Over one mile for this Group 3 contest. Hartem in the white and green is out there early on, disputing with the dark blue of Cambridge under Ryan Moore. And it's now Cambridge who goes to the front from Hartem. Native approaches racing very keenly indeed, moving right through the field. And nearly on terms now with Cambridge after the end of the opening quarter of a mile. So Cambridge over toward the centre of the track in the dark blue, more near side in the royal blue native approach. Handy with those still is Hartem in white and green. Then in the rose pink, Sons and Lovers goes along in fourth. Our Cantor is next. Eben should add those red and white silks is second to last in the grey. The unbeaten champagne prince is the bat marker. They're about to go up through halfway. Cambridge over toward the far side. Green sleeves and cap. Hartem is with him. More near side is native approach. Only a length away then to Eben Shaddad. Far side for Sons and Lovers in the pink. Then came El Cantor and they pushed along Champagne Prince. They're racing down towards the bushes now, towards the final two and a half furlongs. Hartem in the centre with a small lead now. Cambridge begins to come under pressure. In red and white, Eben Shaddad moves up. Under pressure now is native approach. Trying to stay in his Alcantor towards the near side, but it's Hartem under Sean Levy. They will lead by two lengths, approaching the final furlong to Eben Shaddad in second, then Cambridge, a native approach clear from Sons and Lovers, but it's Hartem who's in front by three to four lengths on the run towards the line, and Hartem will win the Craven. Hartem, the winner from Eben Shaddad, home in second, Sons and Lovers in third, then Cambridge, Alcantor, native approach, and a good way back to Champagne Prince. A third success for Sean Levy at the important Craven meeting and two big races have gone his way. Uh, JRB with the field and now Hartem in the Craven Stakes. I wasn't expecting that, just how dominant he was as well. I know. Um, the result, I was confident he'd run a good race, but I didn't think he'd win in that manner, you know. Um, I suppose he does have good form from last year. A bit disappointing, his he's, he's latter runs. But at the same time, he's a vintage winner. And you know he was close. He, he was he was behind City of Troy in the in the superlative. So there is form there. Yeah. And he's done ever so well through the winter. He clearly has. He saw at the mile as well, really strongly. To be honest, the way he was working at home, I was more thinking he'd be a mile and quarter horse. Right. Um, that's why I was happy to obviously use him up if I could. You know, Ryan was adamant he wanted to go forward and make it a good test. So, but mine travelled beautifully. Showed a bit of pace and picked up and and showed a little turn of foot to the line. So. Maybe I'm a little bit wrong on the mile and a quarter, but I think he's obviously going to gonna be in the Guineas his next start. And yes. We'll see how that goes. Well, I mean, everyone's perceiving that uh, Rosalian is the number one from the Hannon Yard. You're very well placed to measure this horse against the Jean-Luc Lagardère winner. How do you see it? Uh, he, he's the better horse. Um, you know, even last year, the form suggests so as well. You know, he's a very, very good horse. And obviously, it fills you with a bit more confidence to see this fella winning the way he did today, you know. Um, look, we'll see. I hope, uh, I hope I'm right that he's, he's, he's exceptional. Congratulations. Thank you. Hartem has just run out a really impressive winner of the Group 3 Craven Stakes. His trainer, of course, is Richard Hannon. Many congratulations, your third Thanks success in the race. Were you expecting him to be, well, A, were you expecting him to win, and B, in that fashion? Uh, no, I didn't think he'd win like that, but he clearly, physically, he's done extremely well. I thought he might need it a bit where he is so big. He's done plenty of work. I agreed with Sean that a lot of the horses all week have been out in, you know, in front and handy, had been very hard to peg back. He won that really well. Mm. I, you know, I've got to say, I'm very surprised, but shouldn't be. You know, he does a, deserves a lot more respect than he gets. He won in Group Two last year. He was fourth in the Dewhurst, a fifth in the Coventry. He's been, you know, for 27 grand or whatever he costs. He's he's been a model of. Uh, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Consistency. Consistency, thank you. Um, and he's been doing a lot of work with Rosalian. Rosalian is a horse who's more impressive in his work than him. This fella just kind of just does his thing. So he's not a horse that your eye is drawn to when you see him work. Whereas Rosalian is, but you won't talk Sheikh Abdullah out of running him in the Guineas, mm. and rightly so. Mm. If you just win a Craven <laughs> like that, you should be there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I see he's still 20 to 1, and that's... 
That seems very generous. Mm, mm. Uh, obviously, I asked Sean the million dollar question, given that he's yeah. ridden Rosalian to that very good victory in the yeah. Jean-Luc Lagardère and this very good yeah. victory on hard term in the Craven Stakes. Which is the better horse? And he said, it's Rosalian. Is it that simple to you? Not after that. I don't think so. Of course, I think, yeah, I do agree with him. Because of what he's done, and he is more electric. But what that horse did today was not average. Mm. You know, I do think he deserves a lot more respect. Absolutely, you know, I think you still side with Rosalia. One of them's 20 to 1, one of them's kind of 6 to 1. And <clears throat> that would put that horse on target perfectly for, for two weeks' time. And that's really, what he says, that's what he feels. Yeah, I don't. It's really stirred things up, though, that. Yeah. Well, you know, <clears throat> I don't think it should detract from Rosalia and what he's done and no, what he's no. capable of. But I think they are clearly a lot closer than it would appear when you, when you, with the naked eye, you know. Nice to have at least a second arrow at the Guinness as well, and potentially a third yeah. with Sun in the Green. second and third, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, I mean, you bring up the elephant in the room, which is yeah. that Hartem has distantly chased home City of Troy. The runner-up has distantly chased home City of Troy. There's yeah. a, something to find on juvenile form. Yeah, I agree. And they say the Guineas is the last two-year-old race of the season. John Gosden says that. Is it? Is that? Who says it? Right. <laughs> Generally, okay. I, that's... ignore that then. Of <laughs> <laughs> uh, course, he says it. He's effectively right because that's played out there, mm. and that Rosalian has a is brilliant when you watch him, mm -hmm. and this horse is brilliant when you see him stood up. And when you see him gallop, he's not as impressive. And don't let that detract from what he's done today because he's been pretty impressive. Anyway, nice place for you to be. You've got a couple of runners in our next. Tell me about Larissa and Larissa. Yellow Lemons. Larissa is a very nice filly. She could run very well. Yellow Lemons, she just needs to fill out a bit and, and just become, you know, I'd like to see a bit more summer on her, but I'm running her here just to try and bring her along a little bit. Well, it's already been a very good day. Let's hope it gets a bit better. Congratulations. Thanks, Lydia. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.